You know, just less than a year ago, my wife uh, recommended somebody for me. She said I needed to help. And she said, there's a great guy on YouTube. His name is Tony Robinson. And he'll be able to help you with all your issues. Tony Robbins is the self-help guru that's captured the hearts of millions. But who is he really? What's his story? Today, we're going to look deep into the heart of Tony Robbins. Anthony J. Mihevorich was born February 29th, 1960. Tony grew up in Glendora, California and attended Glendora High School. He was elected student body president his senior year. He worked as a handyman to help provide for his siblings. And during high school, Robbins grew 10 inches, a growth spurt later attributed to a pituitary tumor. He has said that his home life was chaotic and abusive. When he was 17 years old, he left home and never returned. Robbins later worked as a janitor, and did not attend college. That's from Wikipedia. So his, his career began, he, he promoted seminars for this motivational speaker named Jim Rohn, Ron, when he was 17 years old. So he's out there on the streets, he's, I'm assuming. He's trying to get people to watch these seminars. And that's how he's learning the process of motivational speaking, Right. He learns the pauses, probably gets some of the information, takes some of the information. He learned how to fire walk in 1983 and incorporated it into his seminars. Situations, what came first, the chicken or the egg? And usually in these situations, it's the egg, it's backwards. He became a person that put on seminars and learned motivational speaking before he learned anything about human nature. You know, even the great, you know, psychological thinkers, Freud, Skinner, Pavlov, all these, Watson, people that have studied human behavior their entire lives, they still have um, difficulty explaining uh, motivations, etc. It's it's all just theories, but somehow Tony Robbins uh, knows it all. I'm, I I looked at some of the some of the um, seminars, some old videos, and he, he actually he's very good at it, and he does he makes some great points, and he does have some great insight about taking action, and but it's. It went the other way around. Like, I'll give you another example. It's similar to, you know, I like to listen to political talking heads. And oftentimes, somebody gets into radio, they're a radio host, and then they become the political, uh, you know, the political talking head, the, the opinion person on politics. Afterwards, Glenn Beck. I mean, there have been so many because they... It's the reverse of what you would think. It's a radio person that gets into politics as opposed to a political person that gets into radio. And that's kind of the situation. And, and that's usually the most common way things happen. And it's it's the most straightforward way. So that's, of course, we, we're seeing now that um, he's in hot water, uh, sexual misconduct allegations, you know, uh, racial comments um, yeah but I, I, I'm not going to call it a scam initially I thought he was like a, just a total fraud but he does he does motivate people I guess and he does seem to have some insight he, he's very good at what he is so you know it started at 17 that's all he's done his whole life but it's not like he was like a, a psychologist or, you know, had this really long life of, uh, you know, peaks and valleys and, and trouble. It, it was the opposite. He started doing that as a young person with no knowledge and no experience. That's the way it goes.